stay alive me, fresh and dry for me. Happiest can be in your mind, y'all. What's your fresh? It's a rap, pimp. And welcome to Sly Fox News. Today we're recording live from Hollywood in front of rap music's most infamous recording label, Mo Dollar Productions. Why you ask? Well, here in front of Mo Dollar, scantily clad video vixens are protesting. That's right, America. Video hoes are now on strike. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Can you tell us why you video hoes are so upset? We are tired of working long hours for low wages and no benefits. Okay. We are fed up and we're not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> That's why we have formed a labor union called the Big Booty Coalition. <laughs> As the president of Big Booty, I think I speak for everyone mm -hmm. when I say we will refuse to pop our asses in any more rap videos until the record companies meet our demands. And uh, what are some of your demands? Uh, how insurance? Come on now. I broke my nails in a Nelly video. And did Nelly provide any Korean nail coverage? No. I had to glue back the nails myself. And now the butterflies I had the Koreans paint on look like little roaches. Terrible, terrible. Ah, uh, see, my last Jay-Z video ruined my weave. I more messed up old tracks in the P. Diddy remix. You hear that? A Jay-Z video jacked her hair up. And you mean to tell me that the owner of The Rock could not break off a pebble so my homegirl can get her hair did? Huh. Scandalous, scandalous. Should video home insurance cover medical expenses? Oh, you're damn right. We want booty protection. Too much ass shaking causes physical damage. Right. Oh, oh, look at all you. of a sudden, your booty will be clapping so much that it'll sound like a crowded stadium every time the wind blows. Well, do you video hoes have any other complaints? Pay hey, us no money! These record companies need to increase the minimum booty wage. Okay, because they be having us strip off our clothes in international videos, but got the nerve to pay us less than a local stripper. <laughs> if they want us to drop it like it's hot, uh -huh. then I suggest they be putting some honeys on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> they did that. Every hoe I know be dropping quicker than a man's ego after premature ejaculation. <laughs> Okay, wow, viewers at home, it appears some Asian strike breaker hoes have crossed the picket line. She just hit me with her head. I think they really crossed the picket line this time. No, these heifers ain't. Oh, no, girl. What's that? What's that? Right. I just got word that because the American video hoes have decided to go on strike, uh, record companies have outsourced their jobs to foreign labor. We got this. We got this. Okay, this is us. This is us. I tell you, this booty shaking controversy leaves one thinking: Are the video hoes' demands that unreasonable? Well, according to the record companies, the answer is hell yeah, especially since we got some hoes from the third world ready to sucky sucky on the big screen for five cents an hour. I'm Thomas Tablord, reporting live from Hollywood for Sly Fox News. That's just wrong. Oh, camera, camera. And so I told him, hey, the next time you need some financial advice, talk to a priest. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Not as funny as that man's savings account. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>
So Charles, mm. you are a handsome, mm. wealthy, oh. successful man. You're too kind. <laughs> but you never quite told me what it is you do. I panhandle. You what? I panhandle. I don't want to brag, but let's just say business. Yes? Business is good. <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You beg for money? We prefer panhandle. Beg is not very PC. PC? You're a bum. How the hell can you be PC? Oh, I am PC. I'm a panhandling Christian. And to be frank, Marlena, I'm a bit shocked. I thought you had a little more class. Oh. I mean, civility rule number one. Abrasive language is not very ladylike. You beg for money, Charles. You're in no position to tell me about civility. First of all, I don't beg. I persuade. Furthermore, I'm starting to get the impression you don't respect what I do. What you do? You don't do... Just walk around soliciting coins with a styrofoam cup. Styrofoam cups are so 80s. Most professional panhandlers prefer those big plastic cups from Taco Bell. Charles, you don't have a job. Oh, my God, are you homeless? Excuse me. I took you to the opera. Bought you the finest roses in the city. Escorted you to this five-star restaurant in which I personally know the chef. Yes, at the end of the day, he probably gives you the leftovers intended for the garbage. All right. I make $300 an hour panhandling after funerals, $500 an hour panhandling after weddings, and $600 an hour just panhandling after church. Can I get an amen? Amen, brother. Right on. You get all that money from panhandling? Yeah. See, Marlena, panhandling is about location. There's an art to this. You have to know the psychology of your patron. You need costumes and you need makeup. Costumes and makeup? Oh, you didn't think those bums looked that messed up for real, did you? Actually, I did. Oh, well, it's all an act. <laughs> Somebody help me. I just need a quarter. Five cents. Good evening, young ladies. Charles B. Loitering. This is not a joke. Arigato. It's an art form. <laughs> so it's an off day for me. I don't want you to judge me and think that I'm not a good panhandler. So I, I'm much better at this. I'm trying to get some rims on my grocery cart. I don't have the life. I can't. I mean, I need to pay the bills. My office, right there. You kiss my ass better than a puny inmate tossing salad in prison just to stay alive.